Hello, I am going to do a video using Affinity for Mac with the Epson F170. And what we're going to do first is let's go to File, New, and these are the, under Print, the presets of what you can choose. All these different sizes. We've got letter, legal, ledger, and you can choose your own. I'm going to do letter. I'm going to do eight and a half by eleven, three and a half, three and a half, three hundred DPI. My orientation, I'm going to go this way. Your image placement is going to be preferred embedded. Your color format is always going to be RGB forward slash 8. Your color pro profile is always also going to be the sRGB IEC 61966-21. There are other things you can pick. But to bring the picture in, the graphic, because it was probably created in sRGB, this is what you're going to use when you create your artboard. I don't do anything with margins, and I don't do anything with bleed. I like it to be transparent. If you don't want a transparent background, just uncheck that. I don't know why I like it transparent, I just do. <laughs> Next, we're going to hit Create, and that's going to create our artboard. And this is our artboard. And the next thing we want to do is bring in a graphic from wherever your folder is. So what you're going to do is go to Place. So we're going to Place. These are where I keep my graphics. And I'm going to use this one. I've already printed it. All right, and as you see, you have this little arrow. When you press down on your left mouse button, and that's how you can size it. Now remember, we're using a letter size uh, artboard, and this is our graphic size. And every time I move this, you're going to see it here, the width and the height and here. So when I try and go make it smaller, now you can see the different um, width and height. So if you have a 8.5 by 11 paper, letter size paper, and you want to make a 5 by 7 picture, you're just going to change that either this way or O O I five. And that's another way to change your graphic. Of course, it doesn't look very good, so I'm going to get back out of there. So I'm going to make this eight and a half by eleven. Change it back so it looks nice. That should do it. Okay, so that's that. Another thing you can do is while this is highlighted, you can go to your layer and go to adjustment layers. And this is where all your, your different changes, if you want to change your brightness or contrast, as you see. So you can tone down the brightness. Make it very bright. I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to play with it so you can see the difference with the colors. So I'm not going to use what I just did. If I wanted to, I would hit Merge. I'm going to delete this so it goes back to normal. So remember, if you want to change some colors, layer, new adjustment layer, and we also have color balance, vibrance. This is always the fun one. You can make things very vibrant. And your saturation. Not good. 
Very good. Very bright. So that's just a couple things you can do to um, change your colors. I'm going to delete that. And let's go on to printing. So we're going to go to File, Print. And the first thing you want to do is for the F100, I have found now I have two F100s. You got to make sure you're printing on the right one. I have to go back and delete some sometimes. I don't know why they get back in there. But how you can tell if you have the drivers in, this one obviously doesn't. So that's the wrong Epson SC F100. So let me go to the other one and try this one. And I'll bet you color matching and print settings are here. That's how, how you know you have the Epson drivers. You don't it'll look like this it's just plain old Mac drivers all right let's go back to the correct one I usually go back and delete these that's it I've already set a preset for this but we'll go through all of these so you have the right apps and uh, paper size is correct you can choose any size you want, but it must match your printer and what you put in Affinity. So we're going to go down the scale. Range and scale, we just saw. Document layout, um, single, letter, nothing changes. Bleed and marks, nothing changes. Layout, um, this is already going to be set to mirror, so don't, don't touch anything. Here's a good one. Ooh, color matching. Okay. Do not pick the Epson color controls. You want to pick color sync. Your profile. If you don't have this profile, you don't have the drivers. Sometimes it'll say automatic, and then it'll show this down here. You need to pick this. So you're going to arrow down and pick textile. Again, you have a choice of rigid or textile. Textiles for smooth substrates like shirts, hats. The uh, rigid one is for harder substrates like uh, tumblers and cups, but I have found that my colors are much better picking textile for everything. I'm staying away from rigid, but that's my opinion. You can choose what you want. All right, after color matching, paper handling, everything is fine here. Cover page we don't need. Print settings, this is where you're going to do your settings through your printer. Media type must match your color matching. General purpose textile and the multi-purpose textile. They have to be the same, the print settings on both. Mirror image, that's already set. Print quality, I always use fine. That's what I use. I get better color. Um, and that's all I have to do. Again, remember to go through all these settings. And if you don't have them, you don't have the drivers, you'll have to go back to the Epson site and download the drivers, the whole set, not just the driver. I think it's the controls, it's the very first one. Download that, remove your printer, and start over by installing. It doesn't take long. And then all you do is hit print. I've already printed it. I'll print it again. What the heck. And then I'll show you how it looks pressed. And that's it.